Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel by Educators for Educating Learners. My name is Dr. Biotech Whisperer. And in the first video, I will be sharing on perspectives on biotechnology trends as of 2021. Here will be the table of contents. We will run through an introduction of biotechnology and the three areas it entails. This is followed by the discussion of the benefits of biotechnology in alignment with what is learnt from literature. We will wrap up with a discussion of the impacts and applications before concluding with a reference list. The Biotechnology Innovation Organization at www.bio.org defines it as technology based on biomolecular processes that does three aspects. Firstly, healing the world, followed by fueling the world, and lastly feeding the world. Biotechnology can be applied to help heal the world, combating and reducing rates of infectious diseases, changing the odds of life-threatening conditions with precision medicine to guide disease detection and diagnosis. In a more recent Nature Journal technology feature, the biotechnology boost is much welcome with the emergence of COVID-19. Using precise tools, informatics and platform technologies, we have worked faster, smarter in developing therapeutics for evolving diseases from SARS to Zika virus to influenza and more recently Ebola vaccine. Early vaccines against viruses were based on weakened, killed, or live but harmless versions of the disease-causing agent. Such approaches that use isolated proteins or carbohydrates as antigens are being increasing combined with informatics to leapfrog to the finish line. COVID-19 has exemplified such an urgency for the world to act on, in a united fashion, and more importantly to be quick. It is no doubt that infectious diseases will continue to evolve and emerge with new forms, mutants and variants. The scientific community is as of now better prepared for it. Many biotechnological vaccination targets are on trials by major pharmaceuticals. In a special issue by 3 Biotech Journal in 2013, the application of biotechnology for biofuels, which is transforming biomass to biofuels. Biotechnology is being used to produce new advanced biofuels with better fuel economy and fewer blending issues than ethanol. The outlook remains at advancing new developments, approaches and progress in the understanding of application of biotechnology research for the efficient production of biofuels. Biotech is helping to fuel the world by streamlining the steps in chemical manufacturing processes. The use of biofuels such as ethanol can cut greenhouse gas emissions, wean our reliance, and use of petrochemicals, and indirectly tap into the full potential of traditional biomass waste products. Some of the recent articles published in 2021 at the journal Biotechnology for Fuels have reinforced these trends. More recently, the Director General of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations addresses world leaders at G20 Summit in Rome highlighting impacts of climate change threatening agri-food systems around the world. These range from a host of factors ranging from civil conflicts to biodiversity loss, and the COVID-19 pandemic has made things worse including pushing people into chronic hunger, while another 3 billion cannot afford healthy diets. Together we can achieve with the World Food Programme, Zero Hunger Project. The United Nations World Food Programme's Hunger Report defines hunger as the term used to define periods when populations are experiencing severe food insecurity, meaning that they go for entire days without eating due to lack of money, lack of access to food, or other resources. It has been estimated that almost 800 million people in the world don't have enough food to eat. Celebrating sustainable solutions to hunger and poverty is the aim including being committed to finding a tenable solution to world hunger by world leaders. Biotechnology has been applied in crop improvement projects generating higher crop yields with better insect resistance, with enhanced crop herbicide resistance, and more critically with enhanced nutritional profiles including solving vitamin and nutritional deficiencies. The gradual shift to more environmentally sustainable practices reduces fertilizer, pesticide, and other agricultural chemicals runoff. From this screen grab from the Journal of Crop Improvement, research efforts are continuing for improved crop yield and tolerance in different parts of the world. Accordingly, to a recent report by the ISAA, the benefits of biotechnology improves environmental sustainability with biodiversity 
and enhances crop yields. More critically, slowing down carbon emissions along with addressing the hunger problem remains the focus. Biotechnology, the technology that uses living organisms to make products is poised to change our lives. In this article from the World Economic Forum, it discusses the applications of a broad range of technologies that employ living organisms or parts of them to make diverse products. Examples include medical biotechnology, agricultural biotechnology, and industrial biotechnology, which will become a part of our life, from drugs, medicine and therapeutics to environmentally friendly chemicals. Progressively in the next 10 years, biotechnology could spur the integration of metabolic engineering and synthetic biology to help address many global problems, such as climate change, an aging society, food and energy security. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for future updates. The references are provided herein from publicly available sources. Thank you for watching and supporting Biotech Whisperer.